All right, we're back. We're ready to talk about Robotics' kit that they sent us out recently, the uh, Olo. Um, so basically, they sent us an, an Inventor Expansion Kit, which we talked about in our previous video, as you can see here. Uh, we've already taken out some of the things, and you know, we just kind of boxed it up to make it make sense for us. But this is an Expansion Kit, and they also sent us the Explorer Kit. So this came together as a unit. We're not sure if it comes separate or not, but most likely if we do get this, I would recommend getting both the ex the Explorer kit and the expansion kit so you can do a lot more things. Um, as you can see here, again, we have all the components inside the box. We've already gone through that process of talking about what's inside of it. Uh, we also went through the effort of going ahead and just kind of putting everything in this nice little thing. They gave us this box. The box is sturdy and has these little compartments to nicely organize everything. So, going back, so we spent some time thinking about what we want to do, what we want to accomplish. Because inside of each one of these books, you know, there's a vast amount of kits that you can do and, you know, projects. The good thing about the uh, Robotics Olo kit is that basically when you're going through the book, they start talking about random things, you know, things that relate to robotics and how they are and what they are. And they start talking about general stuff, giving you illustrations of how things work and what. So again here, you know, you have a bunch of things. So in this one here, we have about 12 different projects you can do that comes with the Explorer. And the Inventor has also another 12 or so projects that you can do. Of course, you can do a lot more than this. The point of this, these two books, is to get you started. Once you get started, you can start inventing everything that you want to do. So what I decided to do for this review is that, you know, we could go through and build a lot of these different projects. However, we wanted to do something unique, something that we haven't done on the rug just yet. You know, we've done uh, tanks, and we've done bugs, and we've done a bunch of other things, uh, little cars, uh, bigger cars, autonomous vehicles, things like that. So we haven't done any arms yet. Turns out that this project does have something, and it's related to magnifying force. Okay, so they talk about, you know, if your kids are getting started with this, or if you're just getting used to this, you know, working with robotics and whatnot, tells you how to make the arm, it's like a crane, and magnifying the force of it. So as you can tell, the components aren't uh, you know, built to pick up heavy things. However, with some tweaking, you can get it to do that. So what we're going to do is, again, we're just going to build this crane, which we're going to call the arm. And <clears throat> as you can see, we've already marked it here. And we've gotten it ready. And what's nice about it is, they tell you everything that you're going to need up front, all the pieces. So the first three pages are all about the pieces that you're going to use and everything is nice and illustrated. Nicely organized, illustrated, tells you what to do and so on and so forth. As you can see this one is going to take us a little bit of time. So we're looking at 30 steps but the end result is going to be something like this one. And the nice thing about this, we're going to be able to control it with the remote control that comes with the, with the kit. Now, a couple things before we start off. So again, I've already organized my pieces to make it easier for me. That was not in the book. I'm sure there is something there in the book for it, but we went ahead and did it anyways. It's our little pet peeve. And the other thing that we went ahead and did is that both the Explorer Kit, sorry, the uh, the Explorer Kit and the Inventor Kit come with these things called rivets. Rivets are what's going to be used to connect all the pieces together. Now when they first come, now they, f they send you this nice little container, which is nice. When they first come, the rivets are not connected. A rivet is basically two pieces. And uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see that or not. So I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. Let's see if that can work out for us. So there's two pieces to this here. I don't know if you can actually see that or not. My hand's away. There, let's bring it up. So you can see, there's this little piece here, and it goes up and down. Yeah. Up and down, up and down. Now, we want to put them all together. So that took us about a good half hour or so. The other part, I mentioned in the video, I didn't know what this tool was or black stick. Okay, which is this stick right here. Now, this is your rivet tool. You're going to use this to remove rivets. So as you can see, that nice that fits in nicely, just like that. You can pull them out, and you can also push them in. Okay, and that's what this will be used for. And that's about it. 
So we're going to start off and we're going to start building this out. Again, we're going to follow step by step. You want you owe us step your own. Build the same. And for the record, listen, never done this before. So we will be making mistakes. We will be. You know, so let's work it out together.